Hello, this is MikeJ11, and that was a very nice intro from my friend Thomas Mason. Um, so, he actually has a YouTube channel, and he likes to make Blender videos and things like that, Blender animations, and he's really good at it. So, um, so he can make any, any, pretty much any animation on Blender. He makes intro videos, things like that. So, um, I'm sure he'd really appreciate it if you go check his channel out. Um, he's actually brand new to YouTube, but he has a, um, little, uh, advertisement kind of video for what he does um, up on his channel so go check that out there'll be a link in the description and probably somewhere around here too um, so go check him out um, guess the rest of this video I'm just gonna make it kind of an update because I haven't really made a video in a while sorry about that guys I've just been kinda of busy so um, yep um, but I have had um, done a couple of little projects I just haven't made videos of them um, but as you can see I actually made a fume extractor um, and I will be doing a more in-depth video on that because I am actually going to also install a speed controller on it and I have to design that first. Um, I've, another thing I've been doing um, is the I was actually making some solar panels for a guy um, I'm not sure if I should uh, say his channel name or not but um, I was making these panels for him um, so these are about six volt panels basically um, what he did he he laser cut the um, frame out of wood and laser cut these single cells into smaller cells and so then they're soldered together or I soldered them together I guess he got those really cheap um, the larger cells but he wanted to make these small units um, for a class or something like that so he cut them up um, with the laser cutter and I'm soldering them together for him and building those so that's fun um, that's something else I've been doing lately and then I did play around with the ZVS driver some more. I was doing some induction heating, but I still haven't quite optimized it yet. So, um, but I will be doing a video on that because you guys want to see the induction heating and probably some more arcs because I have not maxed it out. I've just put what's what this power supply 16 volts into it, which it can supply about 14 amps. So if I hook it up to the Variac, I should be able to really get that ZVS driver going. Um, because those MOSFETs, the IRFP 260Ns, can um, handle s uh, 50 amps, I think. Um, 50 amps, 200 volts. So, I think you should be good up to 100 volts. That's what um, High One Voltage One Rules says. So, if I can get up to 100 volts and limit the current to about 15 amps, because that's what my Variac is, I should be able to get a lot of power out of that thing. So, I'm pretty excited about that. But, um, that's actually a um, tabbing wire um, uh, dispenser that he made to make the process a little bit easier. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you the fume extractor real quick here. Let me turn it on. So it's not too loud, but I would like to have a um, variable speed controller on it. So basically this room actually used to have a um, bathroom fan in it. I don't know why. All I can figure is this room was originally going to be like a smoker's room or something because there's no windows in here, so it can't be a bedroom, no drain, so there's no couldn't be a bathroom. So I don't know why there was a vent in here, but there was a vent in here. And the fan that used to be in here was this thing, and it was so loud, it rattled like crazy. So I replaced that with a fan like this. It's uh, like from a server power supply. It's really nice. Um, it has a lot more vacuum, too. So, I'm actually kind of scared I might suck some stuff up in there sometime, but I can always fish it out. And, um, but it works really good. So, you can see the smoke goes right in. I don't know if you can see that on the video, though. You might be able to. Yeah, there you go. You can see the smoke going in. But it works really good, so, I'm kind of excited about that. And I'm going to be making a um, a pulse width modulation um, speed controller for it because I might want to um, control the speed. So because it is a little bit loud going at full blast, and I don't really need it that high. But um, but yeah. So that was another project I've been working on lately. So I'm basically going to make a speed controller just like this one here that I did for my um, LED light bulb. Um, but I was working on that. So. Um, yeah, and then I actually made an igloo, and that video will be coming soon, so, 
yeah, there's lots of videos coming, lots of projects, but I just have not been able to upload videos lately. Um, I'm sorry about that, guys. So, um, but yeah, that is about it. So, I will probably do a video on that. I have to ask his permission first. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching.